KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Weather Extreme Video, this is the Afternoon Edition. This is for Monday, the 22nd of October. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather dry through Wednesday. Rain, though, before the week is over, thanks to the remnants of Hurricane Willa, now a Category 5 in the Eastern Pacific. A lot of interesting things happening here, so let's dive in and talk about it. Here we go. There's the upper air look across North America. Got troughing over Canada, Eastern Canada ridging over western Canada. Of course, that trough brought the cool air we feel today. Some spots started off this day at the freezing mark across Alabama. Pretty much severe, clear, a few high cirrus clouds near the Gulf Coast in advance of our eastern Pacific hurricane that you'll see here in a minute. Feels pretty good today, mostly 60s. Those temperatures are below average for this time of the year. Warm spots, Tuscaloosa and Montgomery, they've got 72. Most everybody will likely see low 70s tomorrow and Wednesday. Around the nation, I'd say it's seasonal for the middle part of October. Nothing really stands out there. Check the uh, watch warning map. Wow, that looks like October. This is typically a quiet month, and sure enough, uh, it's a very quiet day across the continental United States. No watches, no warnings. Maybe a few strong storms over the desert southwest later today and tonight, a marginal risk there. Here's a rain for the next seven days, bigger rains over parts of Texas. And the Gulf Coast region with the remnants, the moisture coming from uh, Willa, the hurricane in the eastern Pacific. In Alabama, amounts under one half inch for the north, closer to one inch for the south. Those numbers might tick up a little bit as the new data comes in, as we get a better look at this uh, feature for Thursday and Friday. Check the tropics. First off, the Atlantic Basin, very quiet. The action is over here. Hurricane Willa, top winds 160 miles per hour. This is a very dangerous Category 5 hurricane. Uh, this should weaken as it approaches land. It will likely still be a major hurricane, probably a three at the time of landfall. Landfall comes late tomorrow afternoon on the coast of Mexico. Then it quickly dissipates once inland. But the upper wave energy will stay intact and spin up a surface low in the northern gulf later this week, as you'll see. In fact, let's take a look at modeling. Model fans, this is the GFS, the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 1. Got a trough uh, over the far southwest United States. That's pulling Willa into Mexico. Trough over the northeast, ridging in between. And for us, a beautiful day. We start the day in the 40s, not as cold as this morning. High tomorrow should be in the low 70s. Wednesday, Texas is wet with the remnants uh, or the uh, moisture from what's left of Willa. Alabama dry on Wednesday, mostly sunny. And again, we'll expect low 70s. Let's go to Thursday, and there you go. Got a surface low spinning up on the coast of Louisiana in response to the upper wave energy that used to be in association with Willa. And rain moves into Alabama. We think the best chance of rain for us will be after 12 noon on Thursday. The day will be cloudy. The day will be cool. We could stay in the 50s much of the day with just a steady rain falling. We're going to be north of that surface low on the cool side. Friday, the surface low is over northern Florida, 1,004 millibars, and the rain will likely end during the day. But it's going to be a very cool day Friday, cool and wet, especially in the morning. We'll be in the 50s all day. I wouldn't be shocked if some folks up in the Tennessee Valley kind of were hovering around 50 all day. But again, the rain should taper off, and I think the rain should be over in time for the high school football games Friday night. Saturday, weekend fans looking pretty good. We'll call it partly sunny with highs in the upper 60s. An upper trough digging through here Saturday night and Sunday. This is Sunday, and it looks like any light rain with the trough probably stays north of the state. Uh, there's just not much moisture to work with here. Uh, Sunday would be partly to mostly sunny. The high would be around 70 if this verifies. And here's a week from today, Monday the 29th, deep trough over the east. And a cool, dry air mass. Lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s. Let's go out uh, 10 days. This is Thursday, the 1st of November. Goodness gracious. Thanksgiving time getting close when you start here in November here. And again, big upper low in the southwest. Zonal flow here. A dry air mass rain to the west and a big snow if this verifies for parts of uh, the mount the southern Rockies. 
But again, we've seen a lot of different looks out here, but at this point, it looks like Halloween on Wednesday would be just cool and dry. Here, the number is coming off the GFS. You can see highs only in the 50s if this verifies on uh, Thursday and Friday, and that's probably right. Then uh, 60s for the weekend. And then as we get into November, look at the 70s coming back. There you go. I think most folks wouldn't mind seeing some 70s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.